everyone welcome back to my channel um today we're going to be reacting to best film in the Kunk moments part two um if you could please subscribe to my channel um my subscriber account at the minute is uh, very tragic so please consider subscribing if you like this kind of content and please comment on the video what you would like to see me react to uh so let's get into best film in the Kunk moments part two Oh, let's go, girls. <laughs> oh, he looks shocked. Sorry about that. So this was a very popular one with you like this. That sort of rhythm was very popular. So why was that considered entertaining? Why did they find <laughs> Oh, shame. The shells wouldn't really hurt, would they? Unless they were those razor clamp shells, because they're quite sharp, aren't they? Well, these weren't seashells. If Shell is one of the that guy always looks so upset. How come nobody gives a shit about him today? That's a complicated question. Mm. Austin wrote novels which are books which look like this on the outside and this on the inside. Filled with words it's almost impossible to care about. Queen Victoria <laughs> was born in 1819. I've got with the ridiculous it questions. It's hard to tell that this infant would grow up to be queen because her crown hadn't yet formed. It was just hair, which must have been a relief to her mother as she was pushing around. Thanks to the big sell-off, anyone could get rich, providing they had loads of sperm money already. A system still in use to this day. Well, why, why do you want to turn a pig into a cow? Just to see what it's like. Since his Victorian origins, Sherlock Holmes himself has regenerated many times and in many different forms throughout history. From drawings, to black and white man, through a black and white man in colour, into a cricketer, and even an alien. Who was the dog? <laughs> that one was my favourite. Ben would come about, kill that role. Probably wouldn't have anyone quite as powerful as Darth Vader as, if you like, a supreme leader. Um, what about Luke Skywalker? I think many people would have liked to have undertaken a Skywalker-like role as a saviour, but there probably weren't too many of those around. Chewbacca? I'm not going to be that stretch yet. He's one of the greatest of all time. His ability to keep his face straight is amazing. Such as finest hour, never surrender, and of course, we shall fight them bitches. Hello. <laughs> I'm Lawrence Wade. I'm an historian of computing. And I was responsible for building this That famous Churchill. We'll fight, we shall fight them bitches. I'm afraid. Oh, patience, that shittest one. It must have patience. I'm afraid it doesn't. It doesn't have any games. No, whatever. It just does mathematical calculation. Oh, she's important. So it's not significant. Who's Ron? Ron? Uh, is oh, Ron? Pest and Brown. Yeah, the one that wrote all the poems and signed them by Ron. Yeah, that, that was his. Family name, Byron. Lord George Byron. Oh, right, okay. Byron. Jane Austen oh. died in 1817, only to be reincarnated 200 years later in the form of this banknote. The Victorians had horse drawn buses. What banknote is that? You never see horses that? drawing anything these days, do you? When did they lose the ability to draw? Is it when their hands sort of turned into hooves? On his journey, he visited the Noel Gallagher's Islands and came up with a theory that animals that were dead were less likely to reproduce than ones that were alive. The first Sherlock Holmes story was such a hit, Conan Doyle wrote 55 sequels, which is far more than The Fast and the Furious. Although in the Sherlock Holmes stories, some stuff happens that isn't skinny. Eventually Darwin evolved himself into a corpse. He was buried here in Westminster Abbey before evolving again into worms and dust. Why did they call World War One World War One? It's quite a pessimistic numbering, isn't it? Or did they just know it was the start of a franchise? Oh my god, <laughs> not a franchise. Real name, or just a nickname, like 50 Cent. We don't know when he died or if he died. It's chilling to think that Jack the Ripper could still be alive today, living somewhere out there under his real name. Maybe he's one of your friends or neighbours. Wasn't he caught? Or maybe he's you. Which was your favourite of the romantics? Probably um, I don't Byron, know. I think. Um, Byron was the bad boy of the romantic uh, poets. It's thought that he probably slept with his sister and with most other women in England. He was your favourite? Yeah. The one who slept with his sister? Well, it's, I mean, it's not on that basis, but um, I like him. I was just giving you the background. Emma Dale had five children, more than mothers, so she deliberately only had five children, leaving her loads of time for politics. Radio was an exciting new invention that made it possible to hear other people's voices in the living room without the use of thin walls or a devastating mental condition. Eventually, women did get the vote after the next bit of history, but I can't skip past the next bit because the next bit is war, and men will find that interesting. Along the way, I'll be shouting at helicopters! The First World War was started by the killing of one man, Franz Ferdinand. You've probably never heard of him, 
all the bands named after him. Oh. But he was dead important. By which I mean he was only important when he was dead. Oh my Luckily, God. John Logie Baird was about to give birth to television. Not literally out of his vagina, but metaphorically out of his shed. Inspector right. Phillips. What is Inspector Phillips? I made that one up. That was just a trick question. Okay, well, I've, it didn't work. Sounds real, though, doesn't it? Inspector Phillips. No, I assume you knew it wasn't real. Less successful okay. uh, with the Suez crisis. What was up with the Suez? Did someone try to flush <laughs> the Suez? Uh, the Suez Canal. What, the canals used to be sewers? That's disgusting. <laughs> no, no, sewers. It's plagues. Oh, right. Luckily, Britain had a hero on its side. God. A man whose name will never be forgotten. Winton Churchill. In the war, there were lots of songs taken. Winton. Hitler, weren't there? How come they don't sing those sorts of songs anymore? Well, he's not around anymore, so it's not so amusing. Where is he? Well, he's dead. He's dead? Yes. Oh, right, so it'd be disrespectful to... Well, not so much disrespectful as um, pointless, really. Pointless. A bit pointless. Yeah. What made the war harder was that we didn't know what the Germans were planning because they said it in a sort of code language known as German. And also, wow. walking somewhere impressive with my mouth shut while well, my voice speaks anywhere. God, I that can is talk beautiful. Around, you know, that? During this Suez crisis, events in Suez reach crisis point. More research needed. Make sure script amended before voiceover record. But he soon found himself facing a financial crisis, the likes of which the world only sees about every 10 years. What's ago. that? What's <laughs> a mini skirt <laughs> What's that old man? Men have short shots. I'm finishing them in a gather. Oh God. That was Philomena Kank, uh, Best Moments Part 2. Most people don't watch that till this part, so I can really just say whatever I want because nobody really watches beyond the point of the actual reaction. So if you are watching, thank you. Uh, can you please subscribe because the subscriber count at the moment is very bad. Uh, and I would like to continue to do this and not feel like I'm talking to nobody. Uh, so you can just subscribe, comment what you'd like me to react to. And um, I'll continue to do more of these if you'd like to see them. Um, see you in the next one. Bye.